New game I'm making is about Deviant Robot who wander in, in the desert. How do you get idea for such project, why Robot is a main character and what's up with a cowboy hat? All of that in this devlog. My name is Alex, I'm making games and I'm posting videos about it. Subscribe if you haven't and let's begin. Whenever you're only planning to make a game, you wonder about a couple of things. The hook of the game, core game loop and a concept. But my journey began differently. From a simple prototype of a car. I had a blast just driving it around and I thought, what can I do with this? How can I expand this idea? Maybe it would be better to drive it in a desert? Yes, wait, but as a concept of the game, why car would be in a desert? And then out of nowhere, my brain remembered this. If you see it for the first time, I'm just gonna say it's a poster from a TV show called Westworld. And even though such scene never appeared in the show, the poster itself always resonated with me. And it gave me a good starting point. I did a bit of a research, scrolling through Asset Store, and oh yes, finally. <laughs> I have a use for you. From that moment, it was a piece of cake to make up my mind and set a bit of a story for this game. Plus, I had a good chance to decide what the game gonna be itself. It felt like an epiphany, where all of the answers were known even before I had a question. From a simple prototype, I've got a full idea for a video game. Some say you should never settle on your first idea, but sometimes that first idea just clicks. In today's devlog, I'll uncover the game concept and a bit of a story, and of course I want to share development details. So. I've told you about the poster, right? Let's put that on our mood board, let's remember that. We also got a yellow Mustang, was desert and a robot protagonist. And there is something else, a scene from a movie that stuck in my mind since I was a kid. Main character comes to some sort of a dock and finds robots that are stored in the containers. Those robots were made to serve people, but then they were just thrown away. Our story takes a bit different turn, but the idea of all robots being the same helps me better than I could imagine. It will allow me to use one character model for everything, protagonist and the enemies, as it makes perfect sense. All of the robots were made at the factory, but main character just the one who was not corrupted. He is not special in any way, he was just lucky enough not to get corruption and there may be other robots like him. He has a backpack because he needs to carry his stuff around and he has a cowboy hat for no purpose. He just wears it because his owner used to do it and does he wear it because he misses his owner or he just mimics his behavior? I guess we'll never know. But what we know for sure, there are no humans in the world left. Robots were corrupted by unknown crystals, they became aggressive, and human population was quickly destroyed. Simple as that. All we know about crystals so far is that they seem to have collective mind and they are intelligent enough to control corrupted machines. The goal of the game and the game loop will be simple. Shortly, it's a left for dead from a top-down view. You start a level and you have a goal to get to the finish line, with some side quests along the way. Some locations would be better to cross fast and silent, in some areas fight is not avoidable and sometimes area is so big you would have to drive a car or walk forever. With a set of weapons, variation of enemies and limited ammunition, this should be pretty fun. I'm turning this game into a complete course so you guys can make exactly the same. Uh, right now I've got about 20 hours of content where I explain how to make what you see on the screen. It's a step-by-step -step tutorial with deep explanation and it's not over yet. I would say 60% is done, but there are still lots of things I want to do. And that excites me. For those who are waiting, thank you so much. I wanna let you know that I don't waste my time too much. I work every time I've got a minute, no matter where I am. And I do it only to bring you best and full experience. I'm planning to have lots of things and one that excites me the most is a procedural level generation. Thanks to that, every run would be different, because levels would be different every time. Multiply it with variations of enemies and set of different missions for each run and I guess it would be a game with a good replayability. Replayability? I mean like, you can play it many times, you know. Um, before we continue, I wanna say thanks to my Patreons and give special thanks to Retrobat Gamer and Friendly Robot. Thanks to you guys, these videos are possible. During my development, I had lots of challenges and I won't lie, setting up character in 3D project is not as easy as I thought. I even had to make a small prototype of a tank just so I could better understand how should I control the camera and how movement and rotation should work together when you have a top-down view. Of course, I had a bit of experience with a 3D in the past, but 
but that was nothing compared to this one, as I had no idea how much you have to keep in mind when you're working with a 3D game, especially a shooter. Even though I have a top-down view, I had to set up full-scale shooter system, entire weapon system with animations, reloads and so many other things. This setup easily can be used for a third-person shooter, first-person shooter or any sort of shooter. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. Um, the tank can rotate towards different sides and tank's tower can rotate as well and it can shoot. It feels easy and maybe unnecessary, but all of this helped me to develop a good base for character development who works in a similar way. I'm very proud on how controller turned out and how he can walk into any direction and aim into any direction and character looks where he aims and reacts to surroundings. He rotates his body and legs automatically, he faces the direction he should and it's just it feels so good. This one basically has a Mario effect. It's fun without the game itself. I have a training ground and I can just run around, shoot stuff and see how they bounce forever. Yeah. Some say the best way to learn something is to teach somebody. And oh boy, I learned a lot. And of course, I'm gonna share that with you. Prototype of a tank will be in the course and I use it to introduce Unity to complete beginners or those who never worked with a 3D project before, as it may be sort of frustrating to work in 3D project if you don't have much experience. There is lots of details I want you to know about player setup and a weapon system, but probably that's for another video. I'll just say I'm super proud of this one. You can see different animations for weapons as well as a laser guide to assist you with aiming. And I've included settings for aim adjustment. This allows you to customize the game for both casual players and those who likes a bit of a challenge. And that's just a bit of info on what I've got for you. I'm super excited to share the project and I cannot wait for a playtest, but it will have to wait since I'm still developing enemies. I'll share that one once I have something to share. As of now, I'm grateful for your attention. Check my website for more courses, leave your comments below. And remember, we don't play games. We make them.